trust is gone Don't see the stars to wish upon Deep song too, good lord Hey there, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. Today we're reacting to Tori Holub, Something to Believe In. And I've been wanting to get back to her for a while. I um, It was a Facebook request for her uh, doing um, We've Only Just Begun by The Carpenters. And man, her voice knocked me out. I cannot believe how much like Karen Carpenter she sounds. So I made it a point to try to do I believe this is an original song for hers, so definitely looking forward to seeing this and trying to get more, um, I guess you could say, associated with her in terms of reacting to her and getting to know her work. So we are going to go ahead and get started with the video. I will leave a link down in the description below. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, I'm going to have to look into this more. This does sound like... A beginning of a carpenter song, but I think this is original for her. My whole life's been a story. Jeez. A fighting hard without the glory. Through stolen dreams and broken heart. I've held on to my brightest part. Wow. Maybe I am just a fool. <laughs> she is no joke on these vocals. Seeking kindness in the All right, so I gotta say, even though the start of the song, like I said, it kind of gave me some Carpenter's vibes, and I gotta say, I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing, because even though it does have that, I really find nothing wrong with artists, like, having, I'm gonna say, similar sounds to artists, because, I mean, really, if you think about it, anybody you listen to, you can hear some sort of influence from somebody, and... Honestly, it kind of bugs me because people trying to use that to attack artists and in a way I'm just like Why? What I mean if that's somebody that strongly influenced them, you know, why would they not want to incorporate some of that sound in there? You know, like like I'm listening to her sing and I'm saying yeah, she's no joke on vocals, you know, and I think what gets me is what kind of was the selling point for me listening to her in the first place was how much she sounded like Karen Carpenter. And yes, that is true. But as I listened to the song over uh, a few more times, it's like, yes, the sound is there. But especially when I listen to them side by side, it's like, okay, I can see the differences there. So it's like, uh, you know, it's like for someone who's barely listening, you might not be able to notice. But when you actually do listen, it's like, Okay, yes, you can tell that that's not Karen, but, and this is a perfect example, because even though this almost has, like, a sound of the Carpenters, it's like, you can kind of tell that it's not. So, I'm actually okay with the fact that at first this sounded like this was a Carpenter song. I'm still really positive that this is um, an original song for her. Again, I will research that after I get done uh, with this video, but um, I just wanted to point out that it's just amazing just how I, I don't even know what it is about her voice that I find so amazing outside of just how, you know, pleasant it is. But even at how clear like her, um, uh, oh, what's the word? Not dictation or the way she dictates her words to basically where you can clearly understand what it is she's singing where sometimes, you know, like, even though I have captions on here, um, you know, a lot of times when you listen to people, you kind of have to have captions on to try to, or to see what the lyrics are, to see what they're saying, and how many times have you misheard lyrics, but I don't think that's a problem with her, and I think that's one of the things that really impresses me with the most, but so far, I am really, really enjoying this song. There are those not as strong, not as strong. have given hope up for so long. Their faith is frail, their trust is gone Don't see the stars to wish upon 
deep song too. Good lord. Is all they've known. Struggling through it on their own. No one holds them when they're grieving. They just need something to believe in. Wow. We all need something to believe in. Wow. Just something to believe in. Push past the clouds and find the spark. Seek out the light beyond the dark. Nice, nice, well then done. Suddenly appear. The least expected hero of the year. You turn this time. Some hope and pride, stirring something deep inside. It's wondrous what you're achieving. It's beautiful what we're receiving. You're so inspiring, can't you see? You give everyone, yes, everyone. Wow. All right, y'all, that was Tori Hollow with Something to Believe In. And man, what a song. That got really deep, too. In fact, like that last bit, that last verse, when she was talking about the unexpected hero, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I'm sure there are so many different ways that people could take that. And like for me, that really hit a lot in terms of faith. Um, you know, it's something I don't hit on, um, talk about too much on this channel unless things kind of bring it up and kind of uh, stir me that way. But that ending part of the song really stirred that up because, you know, in a way, I feel like, you know, like my faith in God, you know, I feel like that's kind of like, you know, a point in my life when I really kind of started to um, even lose my faith in a way. But then it was just like, for me, you know, it felt like he came along and really kind of like, I, you know, no pun intended, gave me something to believe in, you know, it, you know, that, you know, that, yeah, there was, you know, more, I know I was going through some stuff, you know, and at the time that was just like my focus, but then it's like, you know, he came along and, you know, and helped me change that. And it's like, okay, you know what? Yeah. You know, there's more than what my circumstances are telling me. And I, I could go on and on about that, but I will not go on that. That's something I'm going to reserve for, um, another channel that I'm going to be creating, which I will promote once that's fully up and ready. I'm just getting some final touches on that one. But uh, man, what a song. And I'm sure so many people, no matter what situation in life they're in, whatever they're going through, I'm sure this is one of those songs where literally every human being on the face of the earth can relate to in one way, shape or form. And that's just going on the feel of the song, you know, not even going off the sounds, the vocals, the arrangements and everything. Um, I mean, you know me, I, I try to give some sort of meaningful analysis behind all that, but, you know, I got really no music background outside of being in, you know, court, you know, choir in high school. So understanding some of the basics on that, but in terms of trying to be like, you know, being real technical with it. I definitely don't have that kind of professional knowledge on it, but you know, I just look at this as somebody, you know, who just has a really deep love for music. And I can just say that really from everything I got from that video, I mean, the fact that I was just so taken in by how deep it was, you know, that if I was to try to give some sort of critique or anything, like honestly, I would say starting around the second verse, like after I did my first pause break, any part of me that was gonna try to look at it for like any sort of like 
critiquing positive or negative kind of just went out the window because I just got so caught up into like the message of the song and everything that really if anything in terms of analysis that tells you everything right there because to me if a song can grip you that much that you're just so like invested in the message and the meaning of the song that to me puts the song at in a level a certain level of greatness because there are a lot of good songs out there that maybe you know are like really good bops and that you can really enjoy but how many songs are out there that when you listen to them that you're just so caught up in what it's trying to say you know i'm sure a lot of people could probably really maybe on max on both hands count how many songs have done that for them and i'm not talking about songs that like speak to you personally but a song that really tries to just convey a message because there are some songs that you know some people just write that maybe weren't meant to have a message but they still touch people but songs that actually have a message like this one i feel you know because it applies pretty much to anybody it's not just focused on a certain group of people in a way i'm sure everybody on this earth in some way shape or form can relate to what was being um said in this song and that to me is what made it great not all the vocal technicalities all the arrangement technicalities you know all the other stuff that people might look at you know like what makes a great song for me you know for me what really did it was the fact that there was a very strong and relatable message with this and like i said even near the end you know how it resonated with me so much and whew, man i am not gonna lie that just made me really want to start doing some more reactions to her so i may start doing so and um one thing that i am gonna mention i know i haven't mentioned this much but um i just recently started doing youtube memberships and even though i only do a certain amount of reactions for um, public viewing i will probably start doing some special reactions that will be available to members only uh if you are interested in that feel free to check out um you can hit the join button and you can see what levels there are but the higher tier level sn or snco that's going to be the one where I start doing some um, member specific exclusive videos. So there might be times where maybe public demands that, you know, more of these get reacted to. But then I may throw in a reaction in there for that. Um, just so you know, that option is there. Um, but outside of that, I really got nothing else more to say. That was an absolutely fantastic song. Absolutely loved it. She is absolutely amazing. I really hope to do some more reactions on her sooner rather than later. Um, so I'll just go ahead and end it by saying thank you all for stopping by and I hope you all enjoyed the reaction. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe as well. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you can be informed anytime a new reaction gets uploaded. And definitely feel free to check out my other playlist of other uh, music reactions and I will catch y'all down the road.